Medics in the town of Hamouria and Sirius Ghouta region say they have been treating people with symptoms consistent with exposure to chlorine gas. But sources close to the Syrian government deny these allegations, dismissing them as acts of desperation by Western powers. Syria's permanent representative to the United Nations just last week said Damascus had intelligence that terrorists were planning an attack using chlorine gas to blame it on the Syrian army. Since the beginning of a government offensive to take Eastern Ghouta from the hands of the rebels, rebels have often accused the government of launching chemical attacks against them. But CGTN cannot independently verify these reports. Pro-government media here in Damascus also broadcast videos from the same town, from the town of Hamouria, the site of the alleged chlorine gas attack, showing, according to the pro-government media, pro-government activists hoisting a Syrian flag in the town's main square. Another video showed people in a shelter pleading to the country's military to rid them of insurgents. In the past 48 hours, Syrian Air Force stepped up its military operations against uh, Eastern Ghouta. Uh, hours after an aid convoy from the United Nations left Douma, the largest city in uh, Eastern Ghouta. The convoy was the first convoy to enter Eastern Ghouta after a United Nations Security Council resolution called for an immediate ceasefire and delivery of aid into besieged areas. But the United Nations in Syria, mainly the World Health Organization offices in Damascus, said Syrian authorities stripped the convoy of several supplies, mainly surgical and uh, trauma kits. Meanwhile, the Russian Ministry of Defense said that a Russian transport plane crash-landed while it was trying to land a Hmaimin air base located near the coastal Syrian city of Latakia. All passengers on board the plane, in addition to the crew members, were killed in the crash landing, according to the same statement. The AN-26 plane was trying to land uh, in Hmaimin air base when it missed the runway by several hundred meters, according to the statement by the Russian Ministry of Defense. It's unclear at this point whether this was an accident or the result of an attack. The Russian airbase in Syria, Hmaimin Air Base, has been a, a frequent target of rebel attacks in the past uh, few months. The last of these attacks was in January. A spokesman for the base said it's more likely that the cause of the crash landing was a mechanical failure than it was an attack. Allah Abraham, CGTN, Damascus.